episode 62 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. It's the same game, different system. Um, so if you don't like Dig Dug, you better go somewhere else because it's all Dig Dug all the time tonight. Um, we're going to see how a number of retro consoles handle Dig Dug, the arcade classic itself. Um, actually played a little bit of it over the weekend. Uh, I was away over the weekend, found a retro cafe, and lo and behold, as if it was foretold, there was uh, a Dig Dug. So, um, so yeah, I had a little play. Um, and what we're going to be doing, we're going to be going... We're, we're going to try and do it in chronological order, kind of. Um, we're going to start with the Ataris, and then we're going to end with a couple of packs um now these collections are on the wheel as their own separate section but they both have dig dug in so we'll be um we'll be checking it out so uh, enough preamble let's start with possibly the earliest one the atari 2600 has a version of dig dug so uh, so i need to get over there and we need to get on playing Popping monsters. That's what we need to be doing. Um, so let's do that. But there we go. And let's find you the right window. We're not messing around tonight. We're just going to get straight in there. We've even got them all named because you know when we play the same game. All the ROMs are named the same thing, and it's like, oh shit, which one am I playing now? So, let's, uh, well, we have some problems with uh, controllers and the Atari uh, one, but let's let's see what happens, shall we? Um, let's see the controllers, let's set it, make sure it's right. Oh, okay. Okay, so hopefully what we're going to get is um, we'll be running up from the best to the worst. Oh. Oh, yeah. Swine sneaked up behind me. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go from the worst to the best, hopefully. We'll see. Oh, Naughty Cluster's never played Dig Dug. What? Say what? All right. Well, I better, I better explain then. So you're a little bloke. You're the little white bloke here, and you've got um, got a harpoon, which blows air out, and you basically have to blow up the monsters before they get you, or escape. See, gotcha. Now, as we get for uh, as we get into more modern consoles, you will um, see a better better representation of this. Right, so that last one tries to escape, and I think he might do it this time. Shit bag. Obviously, they turn into logically they turn into ghosts that um, can travel, and they come after you, or try and escape, and then you lose points. I won't get him, bastard. Oh, yeah, I will. The second one I've let go. Thank you. 
Get in there. Don't know if the rocks can squash the ghosts. Well, they all lined up for it then. Oh, see. There you go. Um, they turn into ghosts a lot quicker in this than they do in the arcade one. Uh, I think we'll leave that. We might play the better looking ones a bit for a bit longer. But that was the Atari 2600. So let's move forward a couple of years and go to the 7800 and see uh, see what we got in a in a graphical improvement sort of way. Um, I mean, it's possible we've stepped a tiny bit too far. We might be coming back in time to have a look at the Clecker Vision. I feel the Clecker Vision is perhaps on the same level as the 7800. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out any second. Uh, right, Dig Dog 7800. See, it's getting more arcadey looking now. Oh, it's also in a massive, massive screen. Oh, it looks all right to me. Okay, so. I can crush ghosts. Okay, good. There we go. We've got two of them. Nice. That's a problem, it's the delay when you're blowing a different one up. I thought it was coming through, it is coming through. Whoa! Let's wait for it up here. my harpoon in it, I couldn't let go. I don't know why I did that, that was stupid. Oh dear. Wow. 
Wow, they move quite quick when they uh, get going. Oh, yes, swine. Okay. So, I'm a little bit conscious in the back of my mind that um, it's it's going to be all the same gameplay. We're just looking at different graphics. Um, so we're going to stop there and we're going to move on to a different console. Now, we're going to go... Let me have a look. We're getting to a all similar sort of um, age. But if we go to... Well, so let's start with the easy show. Let's go to the NES. And we'll have a look. And see how Nintendo did it. Um, it's the NES looking particularly arcadey, must admit. Obviously, they've gone. Oh, everybody's got a landscape telly, not a vertical telly like in the arcade. And, um, but graphically, it looks pretty much like the arcade to me. Right into the fire. Right into the fire. And I'm pressing the wrong button. Well, there we go. What's that you say? Restart it. Oh, all right then. But only because you asked nicely. I have to work out what my buttons are then. There we go. Badly for me. Yes, yes, Nintendo do have a style. I like that the music only goes when you're moving. from a distance. Get in there. Pretty poorly with that. Should we have another go? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, why didn't I turn sideways? You know I'm gonna blame my pad. Oh! Pad again. It's ridiculous. Squashing them with rocks is the way. This is the way. Oh, Jennifer. Was there some owls there? I don't, I don't, I don't think they're owls, dear. I think they're. Um, we've got dragons and we've got little jumpy beach balls with goggles on. But I have my e spirit. Um, okay, so we're coming back to the NES for um, for the sequel, Dig Dug Two, later on in the show. Uh, but for now. We're gonna do. We're gonna go to the ColecoVision because I feel the ColecoVision came at a similar time as the um, SG One Thousand. Um. So let's do ColecoVision first. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. There we go. There, owls, you blind fool. Um. You can actually see a picture of them uh, just underneath me uh, in the marquee for the arcade game. Um, owls or not? Make up your own mind. Okay, ColecoVision. So obviously we're starting with a uh, press the number for the difficulty you want. Um, so it's lucky we can use a keyboard for that. So there we go. There's the ColecoVision screen. Not as good as the um, as the NES. However. When I was a youngster and I had uh, a clerk of vision, this would have been fine for me, thank you. I think we can plainly see that the the Clecker Vision came before the NES, which makes sense. It's uh, the fact that I sold my Atari to get a Clecker Vision suggests that they were very close to each other.
Oh! Couldn't face sideways again. By surprise, that did. Oh, didn't think I was that close. And again, same dragon. Shy Orc. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to leave that dragon. He can F off. Let's try downwards instead. That's it. Well, look, I, don't, I didn't intend us to spend a lot of time um, on the Clicker Vision, um, but uh, but now we've seen it. Namco Atari production. Um, where we're going now? We're going to the SG One Thousand. Um. The Japanese name for the Master System, I believe. Um, so, Master System, similar similar time to the NES. I'm expecting. Well, I should stop expecting, shouldn't I? But I'm expecting similar graphics to the NES. Let's see. Oh, maybe not as good. Let's press the space key. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. It could be broke. Let's press space, see what happens. Nope. Okay. I would say broke. I would. I would say broke. Um Okay, that shortens the show by a bit, doesn't it? Let's um <laughs> Um Okay. Which one is it's the 50th anniversary one, so that's the Game Boy Advanced. Advance, sorry, I keep doing that. It's just something in my head. I just can't not say it. Um, so we're going to have a look at the Game Boy Advance. Now, this is um, 
it's a collection and it's uh, the 50th anniversary of Namco collection so it's got a whole bunch of arcade machines in we're only looking at Dig Dug tonight because like I say we do have collections on the wheel and this is the sort of thing we'll be looking at when we do collections uh, 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 so I'm um, it's a Game Boy Advance It's still a horizontal screen, and it? it's it's going on this screen, not the. Uh... There we go. So, yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch of um, arcade machines on here. Oh, Pac-Man, Gallagher, Miss Pac-Man. When I say a whole bunch, I mean five. Um... Oh, it's looking like um, a squished widescreen arcade. And that's indeed what it is. Oh, he moves a lot slower. Stop moving them for a minute. Oh. Do you mean they look like owls when they turn into ghosts and fly at you? Perhaps. Cause yeah, I'd buy that. Couldn't get out of the way. times have I fallen for that? They don't look like owls. Are you insane? Why wasn't it shooting through the wall? I normally do that.
Go on, let's do one more before we move on to uh, Dig Dug 2. into the bastard. Obviously wasn't going to make a run for it, I had to go for it. points for more lower ground that you clear. we go let's move on to um sequels and remixes we'll see we'll see so let's travel back to the uh, nes and we will be having a look at dig dug 2 so, can't honestly say that I remember playing Dig Dug 2 at all. Doesn't mean I haven't. Pfft. But let's assume it's going to be kind of similar to Dig Dug. We're going to be digging and dugging. Or digging with Doug. Who, who knows what's going to happen? Let's find out. Oh look, the owls are there. Oh, this looks different. All right, this looks a bit Amadari, does it? Okay, well, we're not gonna know until we start it. Namco, it's the Japanese um, Namco. Right, what am I doing? I'm dying, that's what I'm doing. Right, I can't make an attack on this, what do I need to do? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I feel I shouldn't have killed the monsters. I don't really... thought he got me then. So, I guess I got more points for getting rid of the landscape. Ah! Stood on the wrong side. Well, to be fair, it is all new to me, this. Then a emoji penis was just available there. Oh, I might have to another go at this. I'm so busy concentrating on the freaking drill that I've got. you get bits to drop off with this. Yes, we're going again. in. Darn it. It's like I can't concentrate on doing two things at once. I have to either blow them up Answer this right, am I? There we go.
task. No such thing. I wish I had a jump or something so you could get out of the way. Plant. Too. I quite like that, I must admit. Let me just click add to favourites and we might um Well it might not appear on the show anymore, but I might play sometime, you know when I'm at a loose end. There you go, dig dug two on the NES. Okay, so then I think we're gonna uh, we're going to play a DS version of it and I've not tried it yet, I don't really know but that does mean we need to switch screens to the vertical screen because it's a whopping grit screen um, but I don't know if this is going to need the stylus or not we've had this issue before, it's a bit hit and miss with um, DS games um, talking of which, I have been looking at um, buying a th um, 3DS XL. 3DS XL. Yeah, 3DS XL. Because apparently they're really good for modding. Um, and you can play all Game Boy games, like all the different Game Boys, um, DS games, just from a, an SD card, which sounds like fun. Um, so, yeah, if uh, if anyone's watching this on on YouTube, um, then uh, then if you know somebody is selling a DS, sorry, a three DS XL, so I want three DS XL. Um, then let me know. Okay, so big tall screen looks like it wants to be a bit of a Pokemon type game by the looks of it still no owls just saying um, uh, well, let's see what it is shall we well that will press back instead of forward yeah don't care Oh no. If it's versus, do we? We need somebody else, don't we? First, perhaps on this small island. Alright, well, let's practice on the small island then. Nope, keep doing that. I'll be irritating. So this is obviously the evolution of the character we've been playing. And now he's all... 
cartoony. Familiar Island. So much story. Oh, you have to hit the button to make it work. In the, all the other games we've played, you just hold it down. Okay, so far so familiar then. Oh, you can just hold it down. Don't need to press the button. Oh, it did then. Oh, false sense of security. I'm not going to catch him. Hey. We've done this. No, I'm not ready. What am I doing? Well, none of my buttons worked, so I... W Okay, that's that one. So, none of my other buttons do anything then. Oh, I can't hit that. Oh. just appearing out of nowhere. I see. Oh, is he a ghost? Couldn't pump him anymore, for want of a better expression. Oh, do I need to... Oh, 
all. It was the right thing to do then. Good. Oh, some gambling for children. Yay. Now do we need to swap? Okay, so at least there's a reason that we're digging now. Do make him a nice popping noise. No way that little piece of rock could be holding that up. Oh, 
I pumped too soon. Not exactly sure what what's going on there. Careful, what get back? So I just blown the wrong part of the uh, I have. Gosh darn it. What well, what am I supposed to do then? Or do I only do one maybe?
No, I'm not. Well, I'm not 100% convinced I'm doing the right thing again, but let's start again. Now I need to wait, don't I? come the wrong way. Alright, well, I cleared it, but I died doing it. Oh, well. Um, I think that's probably it. Uh, for Dig Dug digging strike on the DS. Let's stop that. Let's switch back to this screen. And do you know what? We're at our last game. Um, just over an hour, an hour in, and we're at our last uh, dig dug. So, uh, what we'll do is we're going to look at Namco Museum Battle Collection. So this is another battle, another collection that um, has some interesting stuff on it. Uh, so when collections comes up on the wheel, we'll come back to this one almost certainly because uh, I like it. I do. Um, and this game has arrangements on it. So we're only interested in Dig Dug tonight, but if you have a look. Um, it's fitting, I'm just making sure it's fitting the screen. No, it's not, because it's super widescreen on the PSP. Um, yeah, so you've got, you've got arrangement versions of all, all the ones we saw earlier on, actually. A bit loud, isn't it? Um, you know, Pac-Man, Gallagher, Rally X, um, and they're remixed versions, if you like. So let's, you've, you've seen how Dig Dug works. You've seen what it looks like on the arcade. Well, this is Dig Dug Arrangement. Exactly the same, it's just um, got more stuff. There you go.
got no idea what that bit does. We'll find out later. Now, it is good that he walks faster than they do, so you do have a chance of catching them. That's good. need some boots so I can run faster. I assume that's what they do. Let's find out. Obviously, you can't touch it. You can't be too close. Am I too close? What happened then? I pressed the button, but I don't know what I was pressing. Cat, don't even know why I thought I could just walk in front of that then. Well, it's nice to have a, a stage that's totally different, isn't it? Oh, is she killable? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so... Not killable, will kill you, but you don't kill it. <laughs> All right. Whoa, she was right on me then. I assume it's a her because she's got lipstick on. And it's pink. Oh, you can kill it. Perhaps you can only kill it above ground.
Whoa! Whoa, come back, come back! No, 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 no! Ah. Do you know what? I don't know if it's because I put my thumbs in a different position or what, but... No, game over. Game, don't we need that screen for every time, every last game, don't we? Game over. Well, wasn't that short and to the point, everybody? What do you mean you want them all like that? Um, you know what it's time for, don't you? Now that we've just done our last game. True that. It's time for a bit of this. Ah, well, let's see what we're going to be playing. Um, so uh, we have, we haven't got any more same game, different system. Um, you'll be sad or happy to know. Um, because I always think they're a good idea until I start playing them. And believe me, I like Dig Dug. I've enjoyed it. Um, but I do worry about you. I worry that you start watching the same game over and over again. So I think we're going to retire the um, same game's different system for a bit. Um, we've probably done all the ones we wanted to do anyway. So uh, obviously in its place, we have the unplayed. The kind of new unplayed. Um, so let's give it a spin. And see what we're uh, what we're doing next week, which will be a bank holiday Monday. Homebrew. Okay, homebrew. Right, so we're going to be looking at games for different systems that have been created after the life of the console. So they've been in created by enthusiasts um, and just people who love the console. And that's what we're going to be looking at. Um, so there we go. I'll worry about what to do with the wheel afterwards. Let's move back to the goodbye screen. And that's this one. Goodbye. Um, so, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching live. If you're watching on Twitch, um, do you want to email us? You can. It's dead easy. Look, 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 look there. Boop, boop. There we go. Snug Radio. Retro. Snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Snugradio.co.uk is also the website. Yes, it is. Um, you can go there for other Snug Radio related stuff um Stug radio is also on um facebook twitter tiktok i've already said twitch already said youtube in fact if you look for us as snug radio 
most places you'll find us. There are a couple of other snug radios, but there's only one original. Oh, yes. Um, and obviously, obviously, every video underneath it has a link to the Discord. You are welcome to join us for free um, on the on the Snug Radio Discord. There's some retro game stuff on there. Um, there's all sorts. It covers the whole the whole Snug Radio network. So, oh, cool place to go. Look at the link below. It's, it's, it's somewhere in the in the comments or description. Just 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 look down. There it is. Um, I think that's everything. So, without any further ado then, I will say we'll be back at the same time, same place next week for some more retro uh, goodness. Until then, play something retro. And uh, I've been Math. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Until next week, goodbye. Yeah.